Hello and welcome to this review of the Happy Hacking Keyboard Professional 2 Type S. These keyboards are on loan to me, they were entrants in the top 10 most silent keyboard switches video, and I decided to do a review on them as well, and I filmed a typing demo XL of them too, which I'll be releasing at some point. I covered a HHKV in a review almost 3 years ago, so in a way this is a nice short revisit of the keyboard, although unfortunately I don't have a normal HHKV on hand to compare them to, so I'll have to make do with this real force instead. The HHKB is one of the most well-known 60% keyboards out there, as well as one of the most well-known Topra keyboards. It's notable for coming with what's known as a Unix layout, which means that the control key is where the caps lock normally goes, just like it did on old IBM keyboards before the Model M. While ironically for such a small keyboard, the space where the control keys are normally located is left empty, which to me seems like a criminal waste of first-class real estate, but whatever. Another typical feature of the Unix layout is that the delete key, which is actually a backspace, is located one row below where it's normally found. I'm not really a fan of the layout or the small form factor myself, but of course this is very much a matter of opinion, so I won't argue the point. I'm sure it's of great use to some people. It's built reasonably well, even though it's just a piece of plastic and only weighs about half a kilo, which is light even for a 60%, but it feels taut and strong, and I guess the lower weight helps with portability, which is probably a deliberate trade-off. Overall, it's okay, I'd say. The thing that's different about the Type S compared to a normal HHKB is that they outfitted the sliders with silencing rings to silence the upstroke. Being a rubber dome switch, which means that the bottom out is already cushioned by the rubber mat, Topra is normally already a pretty quiet switch, but there's nothing to absorb the impact that the slider makes on the rebound, which is pretty loud. So they brought out this version. I'll compare the noise from a Type S to that of a real force, which doesn't have these silencing rings, so that you can hear the difference. Of course, you have to take chassis differences into account, but it's still quite significant, I'd say. Moreover, there's an aftermarket dampening mat available which you can stick under your keyboard, which this one is outfitted with. This makes the keyboard as a whole even more quiet, mainly by taking away the vibrations through the desk. But more than that, it actually decreases the pitch of the switches, making them sound slightly bassier. It's actually not bad, I think it's a pretty decent enhancement. I'll show you how much it decreases the desk vibration by doing a short typing demo on both, with a microphone resting on the table. It's made and sold by a company called Bird Electron for about $26 and the owner got it from Amazon Japan. It's a 3mm thick microcell foam stuck onto the keyboard with double sided tape and it's not liable to come off, I can tell you that, in fact it doesn't even budge. I don't know what the material is but it doesn't feel foamy at all, it feels more like natural rubber, although I've heard comments that it might be sorbothane which is an excellent sound absorbing material so that it makes sense. I'll quickly compare this stock HHKB to this matted one with blank caps. As I showed recently, they did have one oversight, they forgot to silence the spacebar, which, compared to the rest of the keys, is absolutely deafening. Some people say you can make it quieter by removing the spacebar spring, but regardless, it doesn't fix the issue. I know one of these boards on loan had the spring removed, but trying them out next to each other, they're both loud as fuck. 
typical for Topra, the Silence Ring mod does come at a cost, compared to the already extremely expensive $225 HHKB, a Type S goes for almost $100 more at $310, which is almost the price of one of those new Model F keyboards. And while I think that the mod does add a good quality to it, personally there's no way I'd buy one of these over a Kish saver, although obviously the Kish is so heavy and loud that it just shits all over the portability and silent factor, so it's just a very different kind of keyboard really. With a mat on top of that, it's about $336, quite an investment for such a small keyboard. All you need then is a $52 pack of BKE Redux domes, and you have a $388 Ultimate Rubber Dome keyboard. And I don't mean that sarcastically, by the way. I genuinely think that a Topra keyboard with a matte silencing rings and BKE Redux domes would probably be the Ultimate Rubber Dome keyboard. I mean incredibly overpriced though it may be lid for every pot i guess that's it for this review thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it and following is a typing demonstration of me typing on both unmatted and matted keyboards in that order